I'm Billiam, and we are the Digitals! Hey guys, so this episode we have been running a ton of devices in preparation for. As you guys saw from the thumbnails, we're going to be talking about the Beta Link. And we got something special also, the Beta Link Slim, which we'll talk about in a minute. So let's do the squad update first. We'll start with the Digimon that Debbie Dude likes the most. We're going to go with... No! Devilmon! Oh, no! I've got a Devilmon here on my custom version 20 here with the super awesome new one. For some reason, I thought it was going to be a Yumimon. I know you thought we were going to raise a new on this one, but no, I raised a Devilmon. Because we went to visit David Dude's grandmother and he forgot his version 20 from last week's episode at home and his Devamon ended up dying on him. So I raised one, so we had one for today. And then David Dude's next favorite Digimon, we have Loosemon Satan Mode. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Who, again, is an epic Digimon. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram, I've been doing a hatch and raise with Trailmon for a special battle we're going to have at the end of today's episode. Over here, I've got Deathmon. Awesome! And then on the DMX, I've got Lilymon X. Cool. On the Deep Savers, I've got Ikakumon. And on the mini, I've got Numemon. And then on the VB, I have... Oh, somebody's digivolving. Who's digivolving? Where? Oh, I no longer have Lilymon. I now have Voldermon, which is really cool. I was not expecting her to digivolve right now. I love starting the episode that way with an evolution, right, buddy? Yeah! All right, and then over here, I've got Metal Mammymon, and as always, it's hard to say. And Metal Mammymon is so cute. Metal Mammymon is cute. I love Metal Mammymon. And who am I going for next after Metal Mammymon? Metal Graymon! No? Remember, Metal Graymon is a perfect level also. He's an ultimate level Digimon on the New Metal Empire Dim. Mushy Drummond! Okay, so now that we've got the squad update done, we've got one more awesome thing. Debbie Dude got something in the mail. Woo! Yep, I've been keeping this a secret from you. Mr. Matt sent you a letter in the mail. So let's check out what he sent you. So awesome! Because we all know Devi Dude loves spooky things. So he sent you a nice spooky card. Awesome! And, Whoa. oh my 20, gosh, what's in there? 20 cards! He also sent you a couple of Digimon cards. Got the Matt card you need for your deck. And the super awesome Boncho Leomon. Which you personally don't have Boncho Leomon yet. That is a really nice thing. What do we say, buddy? Thank you! Thank you so much for that. That is super awesome. All right, so now that we got all caught up on the squad, what's going on? Your super awesome card that you're reading. Oh, you have a... Yeah, yeah, oh, don't, wait. Bone rattling. Bone rattling. Teeth. Shattering. Shattering. Skull. Spunning. Mm-hmm. Yep. Can't stop. Breathing. Kind of night. That's really cool. You want Daddy to read you this part? Yeah. All right. Keep up the great work, Devi Dude. Hope you find whatever else you are missing for your deck. I hope this helps. From your friend, Matt, a.k.a. Mr. Matt 55 which is his name on Instagram. Oh. 
That's super awesome. You got the Matt card you need. And Matt sent, Mr. Matt sent you the Matt card. Yeah. Sent you the Yamato card. Let's put this off to the side. I know you'll add that to your spooky card collection. Right, buddy? Yeah, I'm going to wait this again. All right, guys. So let's talk about what we're here for. The Beta Link. If you guys aren't familiar what the Beta Link is, this is a Adreno device made by Angry Pearl, which I'll have up their Etsy shop here. Actually, all of these things are made by them. Debbie Dude got this for Christmas. This is a Digimon holster that the DMs slide into that we got for Christmas that we've also, they make and sell. They're really cool. They have a Pendulum version too from the um, Digimon Next Order game. So this is another thing that they created and sell. It's an Adreno device that you just slide your Digimon into like that. And then it'll read the codes off of it and you can send them back and forth for battling online. If you guys aren't familiar with these types of things are the ACOMs and the DCOMs. And then this one also has on the top here, which let's take a good look at it right off the bat. It says beta link engraved into it, alpha, com alpha communicator. This is what it looks like on the bottom and the inside there. It's got a nice slot in there for the top part to go through. And then on the top, it has a spot for three prong devices like this, where you can just slide in like that but and connect them. But this doesn't have three prongs. No, because that one just goes in the middle through here. Like this. Oh, it only plays three prongs? No, no, it does both, but that's what I'm showing. Oh. Yeah. So then your devices slide right in there. It fits both the DMs and the pendulums without any issues. And it really is just a nice device. Everything slides in. It looks great. It's a nice, sleek design. It feels real sturdy, as Debbie Dude had already mentioned. It's got some weight to it here. And I'm quite happy with it. I've been playing around with it and using it a lot. And this one also slides out too. You can take this whole part directly out. If for some reason you have a different size device or something, you want to use it in like that. And then, and then, and then, then just slide, slide it right back the in. Two five, the, two the beta link will work with all of your programs like Alpha Terminal, Alpha Link, World, um, Acom Wiki, I've tried it with all of them. It works fine. I knew this already when I got it, but this is really a great little thing to help you out and increase what you can do with your virtual pets. Um, to be able to battle them online with other players using things like the Alpha Terminal and Alpha Link there, which will read the codes off of here and you can send that code to a friend and then they can put it in their Adreno device and battle it through Alpha Link or Alpha Terminal there and then vice versa They can send them to you and you can battle them Which then you there's also really cool things like world, which is a full immersive MMO using the virtual pets where you have your own avatar and you battle the code you plug in your codes to battle people online as you go in different um, Digimon that are on there to battle like walking around in there and then there's helpful apps like Acom Wiki, where you can use for jogressing and connecting to devices you don't have to, to, to unlock evolutions. So these are really awesome. The way he sells them is that you can buy a completed one like this. You can buy just the shell and put your own parts in it if you have them already. Or he'll sell just the parts is the way you can buy them there on the shop. It's... um. Really convenient and really easy, honestly. I bought this one completely done, as you guys can see here, and it came ready to go. It also comes with two different options here. It comes with a code, I mean a cord. It comes with a cord, and then it comes with a cord and an adapter. He sent me both for this, and this is just a um, USB-C adapter, so like you can plug it into your phone and things like that. But he also, throughout messaging him, because I had a few questions, so him and I started talking, he sent us what, Debbie Dude? This one! The Beta Link Slim, which is a prototype he's working on, as you guys can see, as a smaller, lighter version of the Beta Link. So that is why I've actually been running so many different devices, 
is to product, help him test this out and to see how it works and if there's any issues and problems. Him and I have been going back and forth about it, talking about my opinions on it and what he can do different in his opinion to like help and remedy that. So far, this is really awesome and really great, honestly. He's done an amazing job right off the bat. There's a couple little things so far that um, we both felt like he needed a tweak on it, but it's coming along great. Um, does not know yet when he'll have it available on his Etsy shop, but something like this is coming soon. It is amazing. Again, Etsy shop is Angry Pearl. Guy is really nice. Um, he does, like I said, have the ACOM, I mean, ACOM beta link here available and these really nifty holsters. They actually come out with different colors you can replace this part with. It just slides in and out. He's got a bunch of different colors available. There you can really customize them. He sells these in, as like packs of different colors too, or individually, if I'm not mistaken. So you can change it up and customize what you have already. Yeah, but right now we got oh black and red. Black and red, because that's the one you liked and wanted, Debbie dude. But the Betalink Slim is again just a nicer, slimmer, oh. kind of sleek version of the Betalink. Um, we're working. He's working on it still. Again, no release date on it yet. No. But I keep your eyes. Like it does look really cool. Keep your eyes peeled for it coming in the future if you guys want something like this. Um, there's nothing wrong with this in my opinion, honestly. It does have a little bit of weight to it, and it is heavier, I mean bigger, as you guys can see. But, it functionality-wise, amazing. So, with that, and speaking of functions, what time is it, Devi Dude? Digital time! Digital time! So, because I've been product testing this, I've got a bunch of code sent to me from a bunch of awesome tamers. So we've got some Digimon to battle. What we're going to need for this battle is we're going to be using Alpha Terminal for all these codes. So let's take our beta link and we're going to plug it into the computer here. You'll see, it's hard to see here, but you'll see this red light show up letting you know that it's working. You'll see it here coming out of the top, and you can also see it here. Also with the Slim, it does the same thing. It lights up red to let you guys know it's plugged in, and it's working. So we're back, guys. Um, we had some technical difficulties there. For some reason, Alpha Terminal didn't want to work with my laptop, so I switched to an old phone that I have it on. So we're back up and running. It's another day. As you see, Debbie Dude and I are wearing new clothes. Yeah. For the, the, magic of edit, uh, the magic of editing. And now let's do some Digi Duel. Digi Duel! We gotta move Taiji. You keep on knocking him over because you're insane. Because <laughs> I am insane! All right, so our first battle, we are going to be battling a code sent to us from Bond of Tamer. And we're going to be battling his Volcanodramon! Volcanodramon! Alright, so since he sent us a... It's on the Pendulum 20th. Let's go with Deathmon here. On the Nightmare Soldier Pendulum Z. Deathmon, Deathmon. Do, do the death. Deathmon, Deathmon. Deathmon, fight to the death. Okay, let's do this. I think, I think it's Deathmon or Death. All right, here we go. Deathmon is ready for battle. I think Deathmon will go with Death, the full Kenneth Oh, yeah? Ah, he's killing it. Oh, no. We'll see. This is going to be it. This is going to be the ah! winning fight. Oh, we ah! lost this one. Looks like Deathmon death to self. <laughs> All right, congrats to you, buddy. You won that one. Um, as you guys noticed, I took the beta link apart just because I'm going to be running in and out of so many devices. It's just easier that way for me. Oh, we'll, we'll do another battle. Yeah, let's do another battle. Okay, yeah. so this one was sent to us by Humilos. He Humilos. sent us two codes, one for his Megadramon on his original version 4, and then he sent us, 
I forget how to say his Japanese name, Scorpiomon X on his version 3 of DMX. Scorpy. Scorpy. All right, so let's battle the Megadramon first. All right, so to fight the Megadramon, I think we're going to go with Ikakumon. Since he's using an OG device, I'll use an OG device. He is a level higher than me, so let's see how we do here. All right, we got Ikakumon! Harpoon wins. Torpedo! Let's see who wins! Harpoon yeah. Torpedo! Who oh, wins? Ikakumon lost! We're not doing well today, bud! Looks like, looks like, wait, what's this attack then? Harpoon Torpedo. Then looks like he Harpoon, Harpoon, uh, what is? Harpoon Torpedo! Looks like he Harpoon Torpedo is <laughs> Alright, so now let's battle his Scorpiomon X. Wait. So for this battle, we're going to be fighting with our newly evolved Voldermon here. Voldermon, Voldermon. And we're going to do an X battle. Oh, imagine if he evolved in the middle of the fight. That'd be awesome. Like in the anime? Yeah. All right, we got a good spot here, so let's see how we do. Uh, All right, Voldermon! That's a good close-up. It's the first time I've seen this close-up. Mostly because I skip it during the trainings. Let's see if we can take a win here. So far, the first one missed. Oh, second one hit. Will we win? Oh, we're winning so far. We're doing good in this one. Yeah. Hit that time. Oh, Bot the Baby is creating one heck of a ruckus right now. Oh no! We lost? We lost again! Why are we. Why are we always getting. Why did we get stung again? I don't know. I didn't do any training with him since yesterday, so that could be it. He did evolve yesterday, as you guys saw in the episode, and I haven't done any training. All right, so we have another code sent to us. So this one is going to be from uh, Digitamer Pa. I believe it's how it's pronounced. P-A. Digitamer P-A. Um, really awesome guy. So he raised this super awesome Devamon. On his, is that a backlit device? That is really cool, that custom he did. With that nice Devamon picture like that. to go along with it. So, Bata Baby needs all of his stuff. We'll be back right, we'll be right back with the magic of editing. All right, I'm back. So with the magic of editing, I'm here. And um, I did raise a Devamon, as you guys saw earlier, to battle against his Devamon. But regretfully, mine died this morning. I woke up to the sound of Devamon dying, and I'm really sad about that. And he sent me a version, I'm a 20th code. So I don't have another 20th device going right now to battle his Digimon with. So I'm really sorry about that, man. Um, again, awesome device and awesome picture. So, now that we've got those battles done, we had a lot of epic ones there. We have a truly special battle going right now, though. Yeah! Right, Debbie, dude? Yeah! Yeah. So... We've been doing that super awesome hatch with Trailmon on Instagram just for this epic battle. And he even made us this super cool poster over here to advertise this epic battle that we've been hyping up, which you've probably seen me post again on Instagram because we've got a super special one going. So we're doing a anime reenactment. Right, Debbie Dude? Yeah, 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 yeah! To one of Debbie Dude's favorite scenes in the Digimon animes. There, this was an idea proposed to us by Trailmon, and we were more than happy to do, and I thought it was super fun. So, he's been working hard, and he raised a Kaiser Greymon, a Magnum Gururumon, just to reenact the battle between them and Lucemon Satan mode with us. He also made all these really nice graphics you guys are about to see with our battles. So... Definitely check him out on Instagram if you guys don't know him already. Does some really cool stuff. Really nice guy. 
and honestly, from day one of the channel starting, he's been here, always commenting, always liking, being super supportive. Really awesome guy. Definitely a friend of ours. So, Devi Dude, with no further delay, let's get on our epic battle. And battle! Okay. Our first match. Loose Mon Satan Mode versus Kaiser Greymon. Who's going to win, Devi Dude? Um... Loose Mon! It's a little hard to tell today with how our battles have been going, but we're hoping for Loose Mon. We're rooting for him. Yeah. So far, Loose Mon hasn't been hit yet. Loose Mon takes the win! Yeah! Our first win! Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now for the next battle. Magnum Grey Rumon! Yeah! Who's going to win this one? Loose Mon! Loose Mon! Loose Mon! Loose Mon! Loose Mon! All right, here we go. Next battle. Loose Mon versus Magnum Gururumon. Oh, Loose Mon dodged the first attack. Can he dodge again? Oh, is this going to be a flawless victory? Is Loose Mon going to win with no damage? Oh. He's winning. Super attack. Wait, did he just dodge? He did, he won with no damage! Flawless victory! Yeah! Alright, I think Luzmon might actually take over the digital world this time. Yeah! Okay, so now that Kaiser Gr uh, Kaiser Greymon lost, Magnum Gurumon lost, there's only one option for them to fuse together and make Susanomon to battle! Yeah! Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah! Alright, here we go, final battle. Loosemon versus Susanumon. Who's that? Who's gonna win? Wait, who just did that attack? That was Susanumon who just did that attack. Oh, he hit us this time. No, oh, he hit us? Mm-hmm. Was it a Mega? Nope, these are regular hits hitting us. We still have some HP left. We well, just used we our got... special. And we hit him? No, he hit us. We got just a little bit of sliver of life left. Oh! We dodged it. We lost. Oh, so it was just like the anime. Yeah. They fused together and beat Loosemon and saved the digital world. I thought we were gonna take over the digital world this time, Debbie dude. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to try. We're gonna have to try harder and train harder, right? Yeah. Next time we'll take over well, the digital well, world. I thought Loosemon doesn't train. It's like already like one of the strongest Digimon. Loosemon doesn't, but we would train, right, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we had some truly epic battles today. So we've had a lot of fun here. We've been doing a lot of great battles. Um, thank you to everybody out there who's been helping me product test the Beta Link Slim here. I've been doing a lot of battles with you guys. have been sending me codes. I've been hitting World pretty hard. I've used it for all, getting in all my battles on these ones. and need them for evolution requirements and stuff like that. Had a good time, but you guys didn't see that. You guys saw the Beta Link. And if you guys want one, go check out the Etsy shop. You can pick one up right now. They're really cool. Um, this isn't a sponsored episode or anything. It's just, I bought one. I thought it was a great device. And I know you guys ask me about things like this all the time. So I made this video to help you guys out with that. Um, with that, the only thing we really have left to do is our Patreons live. And we are going to be launching our last tier to advertise here. Our final one, Digitastic tier. And with the Digitastic tier, you guys really get a hands-on involvement in the channel itself. As you guys can see there, we have the Patreon-sponsored episode. Once a month, you guys get your turn to pick an episode. What we are going to do and what's going to happen for it. If it's a DigiDire you guys want to see, if it's a showcase on a certain type of device, if it's a topic, you guys pick. You guys let me know. Because honestly, I think that's super awesome. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And and we want to know what you want to see in the next episode. Exactly. And then this way, too, you also guys get voting rights. Like, there's also different things I'll be asking, like, which Digimon should I run next? Who should I evolve into? What devices Debbie Dude's going to pick up? And things like that. I'll be posting all that all the time in the Discord and on the Patreon. And you guys will be able to vote on things like that, too. Um, episode topics. Like, for instance, if I get two dims at the same time, which are going to be happening, which ones am I going to be running first for the episodes there? Because sometimes I can't run all the dims I want. 
on e their own certain episode because they're all coming out so fast now, honestly, as you guys probably know. And we already have a new day. Uh, <laughs> yep. It came in the mail as Debbie Dude came off the bus. So here comes next week's episode. All right, guys. With that, as always, if you like what we do, if you like these battles, make sure you kick a blast that like button. And touch a video with your subscribe button down below. If you want more from us, we greatly appreciate it because you guys are awesome and it lets us know that you think we're awesome too. And with that, I think we're done for today. Right, Debbie Dude? Yeah. All right. As always, from me, my family, to you, have a digitastic day. And get out there and raise some Digimon. Peace.